Hello, what's cooking, Boca? It's Lorianne with the Boca Voice, and today I'm bringing you inside a very unique restaurant where they have creamy, delicious cheeses and decadent sweet chocolate. We're at the Melting Pot in Boca Raton. The Melting Pot is located on Federal Highway, just north of Yamato Road, and they're open seven days a week, starting at 4 p.m. The Melting Pot not only has amazing fondue, but they have a lot of events for you to enjoy. And we're going to sit down today with the general manager and he's going to tell us all about it. Let's take a look. So it is my pleasure to introduce to you the general manager here, Chris Picote. Thank you so much for sitting down with the Boca Voice viewers today. My pleasure. So of course, if you have been to Melting Pot, you are familiar with their delicious cheese fondue, which Chris was so nice enough to prepare for us to show you. So let's talk about this. Absolutely. This is our cheddar cheese fondue. It's a, a stable here in the Melting Pot. Uh, it's made with our classic uh, Wisconsin cheddar and Gruyere cheese. Um, we have many different cheese fondues which our guests can enjoy. Uh, anything from our cheddar cheese, which you see in front of us, uh, to a traditional Swiss cheese. And uh, we also carry some better case and Fontina cheese blends as well. Okay, and then some of the options that you have to dunk into the cheese are, uh, other than the bread, we mm -hmm. have... Yes, we, um, every cheese fondue comes with an assortment of fresh vegetables and apples to dip with. We have broccoli, carrots, cauliflower. Um, we also have some uh, premium uh, artisanal dippers that we like to uh, provide as well. So sopracetta, capicola, oh, and prosciutto nice. as well. Okay, wonderful. So for maybe those people who maybe have never been to Melting Pot, which I would be surprised because Melting Pot has been around for how long now? Uh, we have been here for 27 years. That's fantastic. So let's go on and just give the viewers an idea of after the cheese course, what they could get next. Yeah, most of our diners come in and uh, enjoy a four course dining experience. Uh, which starts with your cheese fondue. Uh, we have fresh prepared salads for each guest. Uh, you also have the uh, different entree selections in which you can choose from uh, that have a variety of beef, poultry, and seafood. Everything from uh, fresh filet, Angus sirloin, to teriyaki sirloin. Uh, we have lobster, um, salmon, scallops, so uh, quite, quite a few uh, options that you can enjoy at the melting pot. Okay, great, and that definitely would cover most people's all people's palates, it as would, well yeah. as dietary restrictions. If you're not a meat eater, you have the seafood option, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. So let's break from the food for a minute because I love talking about restaurants that really do give back to the community. And there's something that you're doing with St. Jude right now. Yes, yeah, so right now we actually have our annual uh, Thanksgiving giving campaign, which we run from uh, October 16th through December 24th. Um, all of our guests that come in uh, have the opportunity to donate $10. Uh, therefore, the restaurant would in return uh, provide $20 for the guests to come back and enjoy off their dinner check at nice. a future visit. Um, so that's a franchise-wide promotion, and we've actually, we typically raise about a million dollars each year. Oh, for fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. Very nice. Okay, so let's talk about the Fondue Club. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all of our guests have the opportunity to join our Club Fondue, in which you would receive uh, monthly notifications on great events that we have. Uh, everything from the upcoming event, which is uh, Endless Fondue. Our guests have the opportunity to come in and enjoy uh, as much fondue as you'd like to eat. Um, we also have a monthly girls' night, which is always charity-based. Um, all revenue generated goes towards a local charity. That oh, month. great. And um, when, are, when is the girls' night? The girls' night is the second Wednesday of each month. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, so the next one will be coming up in... Yeah, very soon. Actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so take advantage of that. It's a fun night to come out with your girlfriends. I've been here before on one of the girls' nights, and it really is a fun night. 
Uh, one of another event that you do also is uh, w with the women with the wine. Mm -hmm. There's an event that you do. Why don't you tell us about that? Oh, right now we're actually featuring a four course wine dinner, uh, which exclusively features women winemakers mm. out of Napa Valley. Uh, nice. So that's a great promotion that we have that our guests can enjoy aside from our normal dining menu. Okay. So, I know the event that everyone's been waiting for. Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to your decadent dessert fondue that you have here. So Always popular. Let's talk about this. Okay, uh, so in front of us we have our, what we're featuring today is a dark chocolate fondue. Um, we also have, each of our dessert fondues come with an uh, assortment of dippers. Mm. Um, everything from, as you see right in front here with Lori, we have cheesecake with gaufrettes, cream puffs, and fresh berries. Uh, next to me, we have a plate that features everything from uh, pound cake, brownies, blondies, marshmallows. Uh, we also rice have, krispies. Yep, yeah, rice krispies, <laughs> uh, and as well as fresh strawberries, bananas, and pineapple as well uh, for your dipping pleasure. Yeah. Okay, now other than the dark chocolate, what are some of the other chocolate options? So we carry uh, three chocolates, uh, a milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. Um, from there, we have a variety of garnishes that you can add to your chocolate. Everything from caramel to uh, uh, Chambord to peanut butter, so you can kind of oh, wow. create your own chocolate fondue at the melting pot. Okay, so this is a lot to take in, but it's always delicious here at the melting pot, and the staff is super friendly. We hope to see you here soon. As always, thank you for tuning in to What's Cooking Boca and everything with the Boca Voice. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Thursday. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you.